shocking. All right, let's go ahead and get you guys caught up on what you missed off camera. So I went ahead, I took and installed our clamp right here. So now we got our wires nice and secure. There's nothing rubbing on the backside right here from the standpoint of a wire. So no chafing. Then as we head up, I went ahead, snug these down with two large zip ties. I'm not gonna bother clamping them. That will hold it secure in place. Still gotta print our holder right here. Basically a plug. And then we did a bunch of the wiring. So we got all our high voltage wires done. I shortened these guys up. And then we just need to install these clamps, lock down our negative uh, cable, mount it up right here. And then we'll take also do a second clamp on the back side. So this one's going inwards. The other one will be on the outside. It's gonna go up to our BMS negative, and then that's gonna go out to our charge cord, which we're gonna use. Uh, uh, I'll show you guys that later. Then up here, kind of organized what all the electronics are gonna look like. So we have a fuse block right here, negative and positive, so this is our 12 volt system. We have a uh, solid state relay board that's going to control our lights and then our uh, BMS balance boards and these will all be mounted down on top of that with some uh, double back uh, high strength adhesive So that should be good. I think the BMS I am going to leave up here uh, Just a little bit of offset to be out of the way because we still got to get our steering linkage right across the top here so that's where we're at. Uh, still gotta connect up our key to engage our 12 volt system and install our uh, preload resistor across the terminals. So I went ahead, cleaned all this off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some Scotch Extreme double back tape, uh, indoor, outdoor. Uh, should be downright good enough for this. Uh, on, on this guy, I'm gonna tape just the end and then use the polyurethane adhesive for the rest of it bonded down. And these are just gonna be on the double back tape, just on the edges. So. Get to it.
The good news is, the magical blue smoke did not get let out. Okay, so BMS off check's good. Um, it's pretty awesome because uh, I can have everything connected to the charge port and absolutely not have it on until I need it. And once the charge is connected, just hit the uh, power button and it will engage it, so let it charge. Uh, last thing I want to check before we uh, wrap it up is I have the ignition switch temporarily wired up on here. All right, so the last thing I want to check is I want to check the functionality of our ignition key. So right now it's in the off position and I have it temporarily wire nutted in until I get some new connectors in, uh, just regular two prong connectors. They should be arriving later this week. Uh, I want to make sure that with the pre-charger that once it preloads the capacitors inside the DC to DC converter, once it's switched on, I want to make sure it has enough residual power to uh, flip the, contact, the main contactor relay. And that way, once that's flipped on, we don't have to worry about Once it's flipped on, we don't have to worry about uh, closing or anything or even doing any additional wiring or circuit breakers or relays, nothing fancy. If there's enough residual in those capacitors to power on that main contactor, we're good to go and we don't have to do anything else. So I'll go ahead, power it up, make sure we got voltage across here for a 12 volts. So we'll, uh, we'll see shortly. So right now, it's reading zero. All right, so flipping it on. EMS powered on. Try that one more time. Okay, 13.7 for a split second. So, I'll go ahead, take and run some temporary leads to the main contactor, make sure it's able to flip over, because as soon as that flips open and uh, locks it up, we're good to go. Snug it down on the wire. Let's give it a go. Contact. No contact. Now, why would that be? So, <laughs> I think I figured out the problem. Coil voltage, 96 volts DC. And here I am trying to apply 12 volts. So I um, think I gotta order a new contactor, so that's fun. Uh, yeah. So, got the new contactor in. Go ahead, pop it open. And we'll toss it in there. See if it actually engages. As a 12 volt contactor this time, not a 96 volt one, and that might help.
talking. That definitely works. All right, so we'll get this permanently wired up next time and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.